Hey guys, first Z with a general update. Um, don't mind the fedora, it's only because I got a new haircut, I'm still not used to it yet. Uh, some of my old subscribers know what this look is, it's just a completely shaved look. Summer, it's getting hot, and um, yeah, a lot of girls around here like short hair, so, you know, gotta adjust to the trends, get with the times. Anyway. Um, so I actually haven't been able to record any kind of videos this entire week because, uh, two reasons, work, um, and another reason is because the power went out a couple days ago, and, well, because the power went out, I couldn't charge my batteries for anything, um, I could charge my phone, and that was about it, that was the only thing keeping me connected to some of you guys, and I do apologize for... I do apologize for some late responses to some of you guys. I'm just barely getting to see Kyle Penn's response to one of my videos. And I'm just barely finding out about a certain particular news that I'll talk about, um, mainly after this. And three, I know I said two, but three, I've been playing Dynasty Warriors Gundam 2. Every time I got home from work, I just hop on, do my little hack and slash. And then once I'm done playing that, I come in here and I draw and I'm, and I'm on the phone. So it's just, uh, just things coming in and, you know, um, and I've also been kind of planning out, um, what to do with Raphael since he's coming in about another week or a week and a half. Um, and I thought to myself, well, since I did, I went the extra mile to kind of, um, to, I guess color, color or design double quanta the way I see it. I'm going to do the same thing for Raphael. Um, and I wish you guys can get a... I wish I could post up a picture of Raphael here or there, but, you know, without uh, YouTube interfering, considering that it's a, you know, little pirated thing that I did. Um, but what I'm going to do is... Um, what I looked at in terms of, you know, the backpack or the shoulder pack, you know, we all know by now it's v 2 um, what I looked at were different elements, different elements of Cerebi. Um, I'm not going to paint white because Cerebi is white. Um, my original plan was to, comp was to paint it completely black like Seraphim. Um, but another direction I wanted to take was I looked at the uh, Cerebi Custom. One of the, it's the same one that Chitario made a while ago, except his was a custom of that. But I'm going to take that, which is basically the color scheme. The color schemes are, the cannons are normally black, like they should be, but the mobile suit itself is this really dark gray. Well, I don't know if it's dark gray, but it's this gray, and that's what I want to accomplish. I want to, uh, I want to, um, I want to look this way. I want to look at it hard enough that when I actually, when they, when Banda actually releases a v 2 backpack unit separate from that, separate from Seraphim, I want to be able to have the Seraph, the Seraph V, did I say Seraphim? But I meant Seraph V2. Um, I want it to be that certain parts are dark gray and certain parts are black. So I want to carefully go ahead and do that with Raphael as soon as he, as soon as he gets here. But in order for me to do that, I want to find myself the right gray. So far I've seen Krylon Smoke Gray, which is close to what I want it to be. Um, but, you know, at the same time, we'll, we'll, we'll see, and I'll keep looking around for different colors. But for now, uh, the only problem with that is it comes out gloss. Of course, I might go over it with a uh, uh, satin finish as soon as I get that. Um, so, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see how that works out. If it all, if anything, um, I really can't, I really don't have the time or the chance to really go out to uh, any of my hobby shops, unfortunately, to go find a uh, tummy or whatever, um, so I'm going to have to resort to going to Walmart or Home Depot, because they're a lot closer to me than any, than any of the other hobby stores. Or, or, I mean, I, I could also look at Michael's to see if, they're, uh, if they have any good testers or any colors there, but the Michael's close to me doesn't have a very good selection of spray cans, because it's known for kids trying to steal the spray cans to tag the walls and stuff. I know, because uh, my friend used to do that. Um, that's... Yeah, so that's pretty much it. I really haven't touched any of the new things that I was supposed to do, like Unicorn. I wasn't able to take photos of uh, Quanta right now. And um, 
I just haven't gotten a chance to do it. I'm going to hopefully do it this weekend so I can get that uh, pose thing done. And look at this. I don't know. I'm, I put it, I'm putting him in the pose. You, you guys know the way I pose my, my figures and my uh, and the models with, you know, with their hip kind of pointed out and their back kind of, le kind of leaning back, little cool, tough guy looking uh, Gurren Lagann style pose. And I'm, I'm not quantum that kind of pose. And damn, it, it's not captured very well on the webcam. Maybe you guys can get that idea, like the silhouette. It's not very clear, but for the most part, get that and it looks really really good and I'm not saying it looks good because of the way I colored it but in general the silhouette that you get um, out of this looks really nice and the design is growing more onto me and um, you know, I'm, I'm just wondering if uh, Zabanya or Harute would be able to do this and look good at the same time I doubt Harute would be able to do that because of the weight issues um, maybe Zabanya but you know Quanta, because I can do this with Quanta, I, I like Quanta, the model kit at least. Um, but the design is, you know, it's still it's still this, but just the way I have it, you know, it stands up really nice. Anyway, before I continue to rant on and tangent off to different things, um, I'm pretty sure that a lot of us feel the same way about this. And I too am actually pretty devastated to hear... Um, about Ni Kyung's closing of his blog, and we all don't know if it's official or not. If it's a, you know, if it's a little ruse or something, or I don't know. But from the way it seems, I think he's pretty. Um, I think he's pretty set on closing at this time. I didn't even know he wanted to close it back then, um, but I guess just the fans, like us, really just kept him going for you know the next months that he kept going and it's unfortunate reading the reasons why he wanted to go um well he hasn't talked about that yet sort of but he kind of brought up some key factors as to why he wanted to do so and then what got what really got me was he actually mentioned seed and seed destiny fans and i was like don't tell me that you've got some seed and seed destiny guys attacking you to post up nothing but seed and seed destiny stuff I don't know what it is. I, I can't wait to hear the next part of his post, but you know it's really unfortunate. I mean, he was our number one source for Gunpla news, um, and even you know for some of us some Kamen Rider news and other uh, Mecha or hobby related news in general. But he has a focus on Gundam, but you know uh, hobby news in general. It's really unfortunate, and you know for for a lot of us it's like, oh man, where do we go now? So. I guess as a community, you know, we're going to have to try our, try harder. Um, this is, I guess, the positive part about this happening is the fact that we this is a chance, an opportunity for us to really uh, gather and come back as a, as a community. Uh, to be honest, it's growing, but I've noticed a little bit, a little something here and there diminishing, and I feel like I've contributed to that with my... Um, with my non-Gundam reviews. Some of you might not think so, but, you know, as, as someone who started off as a Gundam reviewer and then veering off into, and then veering off into other things, I kind of, you know, kind of feels like I'm, I kind of contributing to that. So, um, if I have made some of you guys feel that way, then I do apologize. It's, you know, it's just me just really trying to, uh, open up to different things. It's, I, I mean, like I said before, Gundam is in my own interest. It just happens to be the top and it just happens to be what I started off doing. Um, here on YouTube. Um, and I, I now I'll just say that for the weekend. That's that's really all I need to say. Um, just a small apology. Uh, just a small apology for you know this very tiny disappearance. Um, I, you know I have been on. I've been commenting here and there. Uh, I haven't updated the versus Clips channel with any build videos because I haven't started anything. Um, before I do start Unicorn, I want to, you know, get the photo shoot thing done. And I'll have an opportunity to do that Saturday and Sunday. It's currently Friday right now at 9 o'clock. Um, I'm glad I had a Friday for a day off. It's, it feels awesome. I thought it was Saturday today. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't want to tangent on anything. Oh, thanks to uh, Kyle Penn for, uh, once again, for doing a video response on one of my videos. 
Uh, so I guess guys, just 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 keep it up, man. Like even we might have lost something important to us, but you know, it's I guess it's up to us now to really just step it up. Um, you know, we're 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 way past um, we're way past half half point of 2010. Um, you know, ho hopefully this last quarter of um, or the second to last quarter of 2010, we, something something might come up, something good might come up. And if not, you know, 2011 is a whole new year, and you know, a whole new year, a whole new fresh start. Uh, you know, I'm, but I, I'm just hoping for the best out of the community, and um, I'm, I might not be able to contribute, you know, as much as I could or can. Um, I completely forgot to mention this, but I've, I've applied to work at Target um, again for a seasonal, at least. Because I'm finding myself wanting to go to Southern California a lot more. Um, for you, know, you guys know what reason. Um, and just in general, you know, we, um, this as a house, the folks, uh, you know, my mom and my sister, and, uh, we kind of just need more out of things. Um, I'm, finding my, I'm finding myself with a lot too much extra time, so I need something to do with that. Um, my current job, which is Jamba Juice, was busy, but it's slowing down, so my hours are getting cut again, uh, which is unfortunate. And at the same time, I kind of want to leave so I can open up more hour opportunities for different jobs. But um, one of our leads, um, one of our um, managers in charge guys, he's he just went to China to do something. He wasn't really open about talking about why, but he just went to China. He's going to be gone for a while. So me leaving is out of the picture because, for one, we're training someone new. She's a cutie. And I really don't care because every guy has already tried to get at her, but I'm like, well, whatever. Uh, she's a friend of a co-worker there, and that's all it's going to be for me. She's just going to be a friend. Uh, she's smart, intelligent, book smart, and street smart, so pretty cool. But anyway... um. Yeah, life hits. So, you know, we just got to do our best to, you know, keep moving, keep moving forward. And, uh, you know, if it's an obstacle, find a way around it. Look at me over here giving giving us, giving you guys advice. At it again. Um, but, anyway, before I get off topic, I guess I'll see you guys later. Peace out.